Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys yet another watch. Um, now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, all 80, almost 8,900 of you, uh, you guys know I really have branched off lately, and not just reviewing one watch, one brand of watch, but I've been reviewing lots of different brands of watches, and I've been reaching out to whatever company I could possibly reach out to uh, to try to get a sample product. Now, not everything that I review is something that maybe I would necessarily uh, go out and buy right off the bat because sometimes it's hard to really you know see what someone's gonna look like on the internet if you have no experience with the brand. Um, you guys know I love Invicta watches a lot. It's really one of my favorite brands. But you know before I got an Invicta, it took me a couple years to really decide to pull the trigger and buy an Invicta watch. And so with some of the other brands, you know, without actually seeing them in person and going out and being able to see them in the mall, it's hard to really know if you're gonna like the product or not. And let's face it, there is wa there are watches out there uh, across the board from uh, every price point from from a dollar I've gotten dollar imitation uh, you know generic G-Shock style watches off eBay that I would just use for beater watches uh, yeah and when some of you folks are like oh you know that's a good beater watch a dollar is a beater watch not a beautiful Invicta watch just saying or an Aragon watch but anyway uh, nonetheless there's lots of price points out there and so I've been reaching out to lots of different companies saying hey you know what I've never heard of this brand before let me reach out to them tell them what I do and see if I can get a sample so you know when you start to have as many watches as I have and have reviewed as many watches as I have um, a lot of brands really start to kind of mesh together you know a lot of them you know everybody and their brother makes uh, a a you know Rolex styled watch you know or a basic dive chronograph I mean I can't tell you how many different brands I've seen out there that although they're a nice watches look of nice quality they're using the same old you know movements in a lot of them the price points vary all over the place but really it's like you know you have your Invicta just an example your Invicta uh, Pro Diver Grand Diver is what I would consider kind of a watch made uh, in styling to Rolex although um, you know, Rolex isn't the first ones who came out of watch like that. There's lots of watches that look like that that are very basic and simple in design. And I mean, I can't tell you the number of brands of Stumble who make a watch that looks exactly like that, just under a different name. So, with this particular company, um, the company is called Freestyle. And I just kind of Google dive watches, and sometimes you really have to dig to find these companies. Sometimes I find them on forums, but nonetheless, I found this company called Freestyle, and they make kind of uh, like a, you know, a I wouldn't consider it a professional dive time piece, but they make a bunch of different watches at many different price points from like 50 bucks all the way up to about $200. And um, I urge you to check out their website. I'll put a link in the description as always, and I'll put a link uh, in the description also to where you get the stuff on eBay or through Amazon, depending on what's available. And the watch I reached out to them about, I, I, I talked to them a couple weeks ago, I said, hey, I'm interested in featuring your brand on my channel. And they said, absolutely. And so they went ahead and sent me a sample. And I picked out one that I thought was, I was going to go to their website here and look at the other ones. They have several different categories. Um, they have your dive watch, your hammerhead, ballistic diver, hammerhead extra large chronograph, and of course your precision. This is under just the dive watches uh, style. And then if I go to the other, uh, the other different uh, headings under here, you have um, all their watches. You have new watches. They have a set, uh, listing them there. Where you have a lot of these, they're called the Shark Watch. There's a lot of the Shark brand on eBay. Um, and they're like $60 digital watches in lots of different colors. Um, if you're really into something that's very, like they have 80s style. Uh, I mean, the color combinations are, are really over the top with all these watches. And then, of course, you have um, um, the Shark style, which is, um, or the Shark brand, which looks exactly like the ones I was telling you about. This had it listed under new. Uh, one called the Tide, which is a similar digital style watch, uh, like you'd see in like an old school Casio. Um, and then, of course, they have their dive watch set um, uh, category, which is what I've ordered, and the sport watch, which is like, you know, kind of like a dive style watch. So, I mean, they make a lot of different watches. But going through all the different styles that they had, uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not ignoring you guys. <laughs> sorry, I just, uh, you know, there is tons of watches on their website, and I'd probably say there's a good. Uh, man, at least I'd say over a hundred watches. And so what I did is I tried to find something that was going to be a little bit different. Now, believe it or not, I've been kind of looking at these other brands lately and saying, gosh, you know, so these dive watches that I, I see, I kind of really, I really kind of, I'm kind of feeling the orange and orange is a color, um, uh, used in dive watches being something that's very, very easy to see underwater. Now the one I'm going to show you is not one that you would see very easy underwater, but I did like the color combination. And the thing is I had nothing like it in my collection. And so the other watches, you know, the blacks and the silvers, 
Um, I have a lot of those in my collection. So I went ahead and ordered one that was just completely over the top. And this is it right here. And this one is called the Hammerhead uh, Extra Large Orange and Black. That's, a, that's what they call it. No fancy name, just a description of what it is. And this is it right here. And it's a chronograph watch. Um, it's done on just like a, they don't even list the materials really on the website here. Uh, let me just double check that before I put my foot in my mouth. Um, okay, so they do. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay, so this this one here is uh, got a polyurethane band. I was looking to see what kind of band they had on the watch, whether it was rubber or isofrain. Uh, this is a polyurethane band. Of course, you have 200 meters of water resistance, um, 48 millimeter case size, luminous hands, a date window, ratcheting bezel, uh, screw down crown, and it has a stopwatch, uh, which is what basically a chronograph is. Um, other than that, the water rate, they have water rating heading under here, um, which doesn't even work. Um, features, description. Um, so it just says here, style, tells the style, 1002675, like a black fin popping up at a crowded beach, the hammerhead chrono extra large, we'll let them know you've arrived and that your intentions are serious. Uh, like all freestyle dive watches, the Hammerhead Chrono is backed by our limited lifetime warranty and a 200 meter water resistance. Now, that's pretty impressive to get a, a lifetime warranty on a product. Um, definitely something that they stand behind. And, you know, I just figured this watch right here was something that, um, like I said, I don't have anything that looks like this in my collection. And I just wanted something in orange. And some of the companies I've reached out to... Um, uh, recently that have a watch that's done in stainless steel and orange. Um, they didn't have this one in stainless steel and an orange face. They just had the black and orange. But I figured it was kind of an interesting color combination and I just went ahead and, like I said, uh, chose that one. So uh, I'm just going to show you a couple close-ups of the watch here and then we'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Uh, you have your chronograph uh, stopwatch basically and again you have your day of the week or sorry day of the month excuse me and you have just a standard you know it looks like a pressed on back but it might be a screwed out back because they do have kind of the tabs in here, but I can't really tell without trying to unscrew it myself. I'm not going to do that. It does have kind of a, a black mirror polished case. Um, of course, you can see the orange polyurethane band and, of course, uh, your orange accents and hands on the face. Um, and, again, it does have a ratcheting bezel with some um, markers on there. I know it's hard to see in the video here. Black's always a tough one to, to get on camera here. Trying to get the light just right, but you can see how it some, has some markings on the bezel. Again, ratcheting bezel. Um, you know, bezel feels pretty tight. It's a lot of guys say that in the reviews that I've watched, uh, but to me, I just don't really, um, I guess, most of the watches that I've uh, had and held and owned, um, I don't really, I never really had an issue with any of that stuff. So uh, that's about it. Again, 44 millimeter case, or I'm sorry, 48 millimeter case. Um, so it's on a small watch by any means, but it's not a big watch. Uh, case thickness on this one here, it's not listed. Let me go ahead and throw a measure on it real quick here. You're looking at roughly in case thickness, uh, about eight millimeters in case thickness. Um, now price point on this one here, it was listed at $195. Um, now it's on sale for $136. Now I will say that when you start looking at $136 to $200 or you know in, in, that, in that range, um, that's a lot of money for, um, I would say, this particular watch. Although the watch quality doesn't look bad, but it's going to take me time to wear it and get to know it and see you know, how it holds up. But the great thing about that is a lifetime warranty. Most companies I've seen give a year, most two years on anything that's... I mean, I have $1,000 dive watches that they only give a two-year warranty. Um, now, as far as movement on this here, it doesn't say anything about the movement. It's probably just your generic... Um, no name movement, which doesn't mean it's horrible. It just means it's a very entry level watch. Uh, I do think it's kind of interesting what they did with the band. Instead of just having your standard, um, um, I guess it'd be your your band holder. I guess I'm not really sure exactly what you call it. it does kind of an interesting design, and I gotta say the orange really pops. I think it's a very unique looking timepiece. Um, but you know, it's a basic timepiece. But I think the quality is there, and for I mean a, a lifetime warranty, um, that's fantastic. Um, not really much else to say about it. the chronograph does work, although I did th I did think at first it was broken because normally on the other watches I've had that are chronographed, you press your upper push a button to, to start the main hand, uh, your main second hand moving. Most of the time in the ones that I have, um, that your main large second hand stays stationary at 12 o'clock unless you're in chronograph mode. This is actually designed to be moving all the time and to start the chronograph you press the top button like you would any other watch 
and you have your second hands on the chronograph here, your minutes, and your, um, your I believe, fractions of a minute. I'm not really sure 100% there. Uh, and then you just stop it and reset it. You press the bottom one again, uh, just like any other chronograph, and it'll reset the hand there. Um, that's really about it. As far as presentation, uh, this is what they gave you. This is what they gave me. I'm not really sure if these come in a box or not, but um, nonetheless, I don't really care because I never use the box anyway, or um, you know, if it saves the company a little money by sending me this. This is more like a display you'd see, I guess, at a store, but that might be just what they come in, but nonetheless, if they pass on that savings to the buyer, I, I don't think it really matters. Most people who are watch guys, like myself, uh, keep their watches secure and or, uh, or in watch boxes and display cases, so I'm not really a big deal to me. But that's about it. I mean, as far as the, the, the brand itself, um, it doesn't feel like a bad product. It feels just like an entry-level watch. Um, I do think, though, um, keep your eye out for sales because when I compare this, and again, I'm not saying this is a bad quality watch. I'm not saying that um, that I, you know I don't like the way it looks or that I'm not going to wear it. But what I am saying, when you start getting involved, this is my point when it comes to value. Um, you know, for $136, you can get an Invicta Pro Diver uh, and a lot of Invictas for under 200 bucks that are automatic and that are really, really exceptional watches. Um, whereas this is, it's more of an entry level basic watch uh, that, that they're, you know, that, um, you know, it's uh, it's an entry level watch. What can I say? I mean, without, I can't, you know, you guys know I always keep the reviews honest. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about the watch. I think it's fantastic that you get a, a full lifetime warranty on it. And I think on this particular timepiece, the styling is pretty cool. I definitely like, like I said, the color combination and um, just that black and orange, I think is kind of an interesting look. So without further ado, let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist and see what it looks like. I'm about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 165, 170 pounds, and I have a seven inch wrist. So naturally, as I always say, all watches look pretty big on me. This is like your uh, Halloween watch, a pumpkin watch, you know. Yeah, I like the orange, you know, I think it's kind of interesting. I have never owned a watch like this. Uh, you know, you guys know I gravitate more towards gold and some of the real over-the-top uh, kind of flashy looking ones. Uh, this is definitely something that is uh, it's very unique to my collection anyway. And uh, I definitely look forward to wearing it. I'll probably wear this tomorrow at work to see what some of the folks at work think about it. And like I said, the company basically, uh, th their whole brand is, um, you know, is water sports. Uh, their logo, again, they're called Freestyle. Their logo is kind of like a shark fin uh, coming out of the water. Uh, that's kind of their their whole, uh, I guess, brand image where they make, um, you know, just, you know, I, I won't even say that their, their brand image is just about, you know, uh, the water, of course, because a lot of their watches that I've seen on the website, uh, definitely are more what I would consider more your retro style digital watches. So um, again, if you're looking for a watch that's you know kind of over the top when it comes to their color scheme, um, I definitely urge you to check out some of their brand, some of their varieties. Um, as far as this watch here, it looks like they make this one in a couple different executions. You can get this one in a. Let's see here, how many colors we got here? Looks like we have. A combination, you have eight different color combinations on this particular watch. Uh, you have the stainless steel with the black band and some aqua accents on the face. A black bezel, stainless steel case, um, which is 190. Uh, and again, like I said, when you start getting close to, and I, I'll be honest with you guys, when you start getting close to $200 for a watch, that opens up a lot of doors. I mean, you can get... Um, just to just to put, give you an example, uh, again, not to bash the brand at all. I think it's very generous, and I want to thank them for sending me the watch. And maybe at a later date, I can review some, some more of their watches. But you have to look at the price points here. And this is why I always say, you know, I'll always be honest with you guys as far as the value you're getting uh, when it comes to an Invicta or an Aragon watch. Those are really the two to me that give you the most value. And you have to find what you like. I mean, value is very subjective and it really, just because I say that, hey, this is a great value and this one's not as good a value, uh, that doesn't mean you'll feel the same. But just as an example here, you can get this Aragon watch which I reviewed last week uh, with mother of pearl, I mean, 990 feet of water resistance, Seiko automatic movement on a bracelet for under 200 bucks as well. So, you know, there's, there, that's, I would think this watch would be better priced at under $100 price point. But again, that's for the company to decide, that's for the consumer to decide whether they want to purchase it or not. I think it's a good looking timepiece. I, you know, like I said, I, I look forward to wearing it tomorrow. 
and I am appreciative that the company sent me this, but as far as uh, the color combinations, uh, you, the extra large version, which is the uh, silver face, uh, sorry, the silver case with the black band, um, that looks like that's their extra large. They have it listed here as Hammerhead XL. Let me check the other one here, because the other one doesn't say XL. All right, so it's just the way they have their website listed. So they're all the same size. Uh, let me check this one out. There's a Shark X 2.0. I know I'm you know, talking to you guys on the computer here, but I just wanted to just give you guys proper information here. Yeah, so one, two, three. I wish they had these listed under different headings here. Yeah, so okay, so you have three different variations of this particular watch in this color, in this size, and they're gonna run you $190. So sorry about that. Three black bezel, silver case, black face, more of a tactical look. Then you have your uh, silver, silver case, Black face, aqua accents, black band, and this one. This one was 195, but it went on sale for 136. So I think it's more realistic price for what you're getting with this watch. But then again, lifetime warranty. That's pretty amazing as well. So guys, that's about all I have to really say about the watch. I'll re-review this watch at a later date once I have a chance to uh, wear it more and get to know it. I thank you guys for watching. As always, um, remember if you like the content, subscribe to the channel.